All right, guys, I know it's hard to believe, but Crash does a grid search now. So I kind of decided, you know, Mike, that would be better for her. If she could just search within an area because she doesn't really have any sense of direction. So I, I kind of was thinking about it. I mean, if you don't have any really sense of direction, it may be hard to learn directional retrieval. But a grid search, on the other hand, requires more... Anyway, so this is what I've got today. All things that might easily be lost. My big dumbbells. I got two of the big dumbbells. I've got this little free gift I got from more of my jeans that I bought on eBay. A hair clip. Something that could easily... A pen. And then, you know, I... I don't know whether this makes a difference, but I do try to put... She's already looking. And then a glasses case. So, I think if I show her the basket... Oh, she's ready. So, you know, show her the basket and then, you know, dump the things out. Hello, Prasad, how are you doing? Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to, I'm, I'm gonna show her the basket first, though. All right, so here's my pager. Oh yeah, Mike, she, she actually spun. She actually spun. I, I never dreamed that that was possible. All right, so I'm gonna show her the basket. She doesn't, I'm just gonna tell you the other things that are in there besides the dumbbells are all other things she's already picked up. So, you know, maybe I should just, you know, kind of scatter them. You know, that wasn't really that much in the middle. All right, and then maybe if I just, you know, start looking at them. You little monkey. You know, it seems like she expects me to be more over here. Oh, you little monkey crash. You little monkey. Yeah, that recalls what's getting me. If I can get that out in the field, she does seem to, you know, and I'm sure there's people that'll probably tell you, we know all about this lady, but, you know, she, oh, I'm sorry, Skylar. She does seem to pick those dumbbells up first. Whereas in the house, honestly, I'm gonna start doing that Snapchat just for shoe bottom every time I turn around. She's got something in her mouth. Objects of varying value, let's put it that way. <laughs> From a ripped up piece of paper. All right, so she's got the other three things now. And she'll keep looking, I mean, that's, Maybe once she rules out the dumbbells. Oh, you little monkey crash. You see, she threw that down. Oh, you little monkey crash. You better bring it to Mama Crash. Maybe there should be some kind of pay scale. Oh, you little monkey. Oh, you little monkey crash. You better bring your mama. And I did put a rubber band on this thing so it didn't fly open. Because let me tell you, if you said, what is her other skill? Ripping up paper. I can turn around. I've, I'm smart now. If I see her with a piece of paper, I, the only thing is that pen. And that was the last thing she got yesterday. But I'm going to tell you right now. I can't turn around, one of them's grabbing, uh, knocking a pen off the counter, grabbing it. I don't feel do that. The glasses might be interfering with the, you know, and I don't think you should, I, don't, I definitely don't think you should wear sunglasses, unless it was a dog that was really, really trained. She's grid searching though. She got a whiff of it. Oh, she knows there's nothing else. Better bring it to Mama Crash. Anyway, I hope uh, you guys like that. So yeah, that's that's what she does now. It actually a good search. So, you know, if it was, a, oh hello Michelle, I started panicking when I saw that thing about the puppy. I just always worry that those, uh, you know, they get coccidia at the pound. But then I saw they were only ten days old. They usually get it like at twelve or thirteen days. Uh, 
Anyway, I hope you can see Crash is doing unbelievable. You know, if she even if she wasn't blind and was just some rescue puppy from the street, I think she'd be doing good. So anyway, girl. Oh, and Michelle, I want you to do uh, I want you to do puppy recall and all that stuff with those puppies too to give them the best chance at a, you know. I know that we all want to believe they just get adopted and go to a forever home, but you know that isn't any any skill. I think you know I think that's the obligation of people that have puppies and stuff to give them any possible skill that you know is going to make them successful in life. You know that video of that guy just rolling on the ground with those puppies. Okay, dude. Yeah, you know, we understand that you're mentally six years old, and you don't want to giggle when puppies jump on you, but that's not helping them go anywhere in life because fast forward six months, it jumps on us. Anyway, all right, so we're getting a request for one more crash. One more search with crash. Okay, hang on. I think, I think, you know, now I think I understand. The beginning, the way to help her know that you were starting to search would just be the basket. I can try this. I can try putting one over there. See, the looking, well, I'm going to try looking. Little monkey crash. Oh, the looking doesn't do anything. Alright, I can try doing it now. And she does a grit search. You know, and she likes it. Yeah, you know, I think any dog can be taught to do this. And if you said based on what? The fact that this one can. There she yeah, I'm surprised she hit it with her foot. I'm surprised that didn't. She's making a very deliberate search, though. If you said, where does she get this skill? That's what she does all day. <laughs> yeah, she smelled it now. You little monkey crash. All right, you guys, I, I hope you're impressed with that. So now she actually does a grid search now. You know, and then you probably do it at night. Hello, Antonio. I think you could probably do it at night. Uh, oh, this would be a good one. What about this, you guys? I do it at night. You won't re really be able to see anything, but I find glow-in-the-dark objects so you would know when she was finding them. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back.